Hello everybody and welcome to part two. So this is where we left off. I was showing you guys how I store my Copics. And they're in these cubbies by... Th I'll post the, um, the, the seller's name um, where I got those. Um, moving on. On the top shelf is my printer. Some 12 by 12 albums that I've finished. My empty gypsy box <laughs> that I refuse to throw out. Um, my um, laminator, Gypsy, my scissors, I hang them there, um, my Stampin' Up! ink pads, my Mini Mister, um, they're here, and my Tim Holtz um, ink pads, and I've labeled these with my Dymo label maker. And I created this shelf. Woo, to me. Uh, moving on. This is a calendar that I, um, I altered. Not going to show that. Uh, down here I have some of my ink pads that I use a lot, like my embossing ink pad, my memento ink pad, my post-its. Um, I store my embossing powders in here, as well as my Distress, um, Crackle Paint by Ranger. My jelly pens are here just some burlap. Uh, okay, now under the desk. Now I'm not going to pull out these drawers, but this is where I store my scraps. So it's right by my desk where I'm working. I can always grab them really quickly. That's some more paper. I did a haul on that. This is where I store my projects that I'm working on, or projects in the, in the making. This has CDs, DVDs, uh, books, all that kind of stuff for scrapbooking are in here. Um, moving on, over here I have some more paper. Uh, these are completed 12 by 12s that I need to put in albums. And then we're over here at my next workstation. And this is where my Cricut Imagine sits. Love this baby. Um, and my next embellishment center, which is my favorite thing in my craft room. I love to look at it. It's so pretty. Um, so on the top I have my album that I created using my um, Imagine. So check out my video on that. My Prima Leaves. Prima. My colorful Primas are here. Well, they're actually Recollections flowers, but then they have that Prima logo on the top, so I think they're Prima. <laughs> uh, my um, Folk Art Paint, my um, Stickles are here, some more Prima flowers, um, ribbon, and some more ribbon. And it's just really colorful and I love to look at it. Okay, moving on over here, this drawer is labeled Cricut, so it has my Cricut wires, my gypsy stuff, all that jazz is here. And I have a few embossing folders in here too. Um, but it's mainly my Cricut supplies. And then this next drawer labeled Brad's. I have all my Brad's in here. They're stored in these little um, containers by color and all that. So. Okay, so that's my brads and eyelets. Down here is my charm drawer, and my charms are stored by company in little um, Ziploc bags. So that's how I store some of my charms. Down here is my cuddle bug drawer, and I did a video on this before, but I store my cuddle bug embossing folders in here, and I just make a sample of what the folder looks like, and stick it right down in front of the folder. This is my sticker drawer and this just holds those stickers that can't fit on my um, on my uh, clip it up. So stickers are here. Down here I just have a book, a really old dictionary and some bling pieces. Um, I've outgrown my Sizzix drawers over on the other side so I've been moving <laughs> or putting my my Sizzix dies in here as well. Um, this is my embossing drawer and it has all my Tim Holtz embossing folders um, in here and it also has my cuddle bug folders, the big ones, are in here because they can't fit in the drawer with the smaller ones. So this is my embossing folder drawer. This drawer is chipboard drawer so it has chipboard books and little pieces of chipboard. 
this drawer is my Halloween drawer. Halloween and Christmas are my two favorite holidays, so I have a drawer dedicated to those two. This is my Halloween drawer, and it just has my Halloween embellishments in there. Moving on, this drawer is labeled embellish or embellies. These are my can company embellishments. So from every um, collection that I have of can company, whatever embellishments I pick up, they go in this drawer. So this is my can company embellishment drawer. This drawer is my mat stack drawer. I do not buy the mat stacks that often. I tend to buy the 12 by 12, but when I do, um, I store them here. This is my Prima drawer. It has some of my Prima flowers in here. Um, so it's all Prima, Prima, just Prima stuff in here. That can't fit on my Clip It Up, which is where the majority of my Primas are. And I'll show that a little bit later. Moving on, this is my kids' drawers. <laughs> it has their pencils and what's left of their crayons. They break their crayons and then they throw them in the garbage. Um, this is my sponge drawer, so it has the foam pieces for my distress tool, my makeup sponges, all of that is in here. This drawer is my chipboard drawer, it has my chipboard letters and shapes in little glad containers. This drawer has rub-ons, um, some more stickers and vellum embellishments. This is my distress drawer. We're moving on to the good stuff now. This is my Tim Holtz drawer. This die couldn't fit with the other dies, so it's in this drawer. It has my um, On the Edge dies by Tim Holtz, as well as my Visual art Artistry um, stamps by Tim Holtz, and my um, Stampers Anonymous stamps by Tim Holtz. So this is a Tim Holtz drawer. Moving on, this is another Tim Holtz drawer. It has my grunge board pieces, my clock faces, and my memo pins. So it's all Tim Holtz there. And this drawer is also Tim Holtz. More Tim Holtz, key holes, ornate plates, a few can company keys. And then moving on to my new workstation over here is where I have my new AccuCut machine. Um, I have played with it a little bit and I really do love it. It's a really powerful die cutting machine. I really am impressed with it. And these are the crease pads that come with it. Um, and so this is my new um, workstation that I got. And it stores my batteries, my Dymo label maker, my bling for my iRock, my Dymo label maker again, and extra tape for the Dymo. And this is my Christmas drawer. So not too much in here at the moment, but it has my Christmas embellishments that I picked up this for this Christmas. And this drawer is empty. Down here is where I store my 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So they're here by color. And also my 8.5 or my 8 by 8 um, paper stacks. Don't have too many of those. I always go for the 12 by 12. Under here I just have random things. They don't have serve any purpose really. They're just in little baskets. And these are some scraps that I need to sort and put into my scrap drawers. So I stick those in here until I have time to sort. And then the next video I'm going to move on to the third section of my craft room which is my um, my expedite shelving unit. So I'll start it but I know I won't have enough time on the camera to move on. But up here on the wall I have that little piece that I got from Carla. Hi Carla, thank you for that. And another um, little hooky thing that I can hang stuff off of. And I think this is it guys. Thanks for watching another Ice Scrap Happy video. Bye.